guys welcome back to the channel i know it's been a hot minute but this is going to be the last video of my italy series and i'm in venice italy if you can't already tell <laughs> okay you guys this place is absolutely amazing i'd heard kind of mixed reviews but i think that's from people that are visiting in the dead of summer which i still probably would love but from the second i got there i knew that i was gonna absolutely love it from the squares to the canals, there's just endless amounts of subject matter to shoot. And I had the time of my life. Definitely will be going back there someday to shoot some more. We only had two days there. So take a look at some of my work that I made. I've seen photos of Venice, but nothing truly does it justice until you go there yourself and see it with your own eyes. From the moment you step off the train station or however you get there, you see how the city's built and it absolutely astounds you. So I thought that I'd be shooting a majority of medium format, but from the moment I got there, I knew I was going to be shooting some more street too, because for the beginning of November, the streets were just so, so alive. I got a few recommendations from people on Instagram that knew I was going to be in Italy. So I highly re recommend shooting around Zetere and then just all of the main squares come alive after the kids come out of school. They're always out playing. It's absolutely amazing. And this is where all my dreams came true. <laughs> you guys, scenes like this is just something we don't experience in America. Kids are driving home from school, their parents are picking them up, but they do not go to the squares and play football with their friends and draw the chalk with their sisters. So this was literally all I asked for when coming to a place like Venice. I even told my mom, who was my travel buddy, I was like, I just hope that we come across some kids playing football, hanging out, and my dreams came true. So enjoy these photos because I certainly will for the rest of my life. We had fog most of the time we were there, which I don't really mind because I just make sure that I pack the right film stocks for when we're going out. But coming up here in a second, we did get some sun, which was pretty nice. So I was kind of just walking through the crowds as the people headed toward the train station and enjoying for a brief moment that I could play with a larger zone. Since it was my first time in Venice, we obviously hit some of the more touristy spots. 
but it's moments like this that make everything worth it. I mean, you just can't make this up. There's kids in a class drawing architecture across the water, and these are the moments that I live for, and it's why I do what I do. Of course, if I had more time, I would have loved to just endlessly stroll the streets and get lost in the streets of Venice. We only took one water taxi ride through the main part of Venice because money, but it was a lot of fun. And when I had the chance and boats got close enough, I tried to shoot street style because that's what I do. Last but certainly not least, you cannot forget the food in Venice. I mean, we had far too many spritzes, the cicchetti was amazing, seafood pasta, you guys, you can't beat the food. Overall, it was an amazing trip with tons of squares, lots of shooting, lots of food, basically everything that I need in life. And let's not forget all the Italians peeking their head out the windows. Anyways, thanks guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. See you for the next one. Peace!